<laughs> anyway. So thank you everyone for watching Game, Game of Geeks. Geeks. Yeah. You can submit your trivia questions or ca catch past episodes at gameofgeeks.tv. Also, let us know your feedback or suggestions or ideas. You can tweet us at Game of Geeks. And that is it for this episode. Give a huge round of applause to our Woo! contestants. Now make me a tuna fish sandwich. Chad, that's a good show, it, isn't it? I really like it. I think we oh, really, I think we want to yes. produce it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony Nielsen it's his and Patrick yeah. really make yeah. the show. Happen. You know what you need? That you need, you need with with all the love in the world. You need a celebrity host. <laughs> sure. We do. Sure. Need, we need. Uh, need yes. Carson Daly of technology. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Omg, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> That is that, but I think that's yeah. a good show. And Glenn helped out a ton with, with this episode yeah. as well. Yeah, I think it's fun. It's oh, a yeah. good, it's a good show and a good yeah. game. We would change the little. Uh, I would imagine the little games around. Does anybody have this one? I we wanted it to be longer. Right. So does anybody we, have like Twit Monopoly? Like Park Lane is like Windows Weekly, and Park Lane's not a thing in Monopoly. You know, there's a company that you can't. First of all, you can't do that because they have a monopoly. They have a monopoly. I'm a monopoly. Oh. There's, a company, there's a company that actually will do that. For really? You. Yeah. And like old Kent Road would be NSFW. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Like the shitty little bit that nobody wants. Yeah. In you the know, states, it's Baltic uh, Avenue. Really? Yeah. Okay. Not Kent Road. Well, no, uh, well, we need we need the twit. The we need twit monopoly. That needs to happen. Monopoly may be the worst board game ever. Made. I don't really think anybody <laughs> buy that. It's like it's it's the slowest, most painful game, and the and it's just this brutal grind. But how, how much where can everyone? You I think it's right. because it's so close to life. What, what is the best? If you wanted to live game? as an investor, uh, what, is what is the best? Board game? What is the best board? Game? Settlers of Catan. Catan is good. Catan's great specifically what, what because there's never any downtime. With, yeah. Right? Uh, at any monopoly. point, you it's a little complicated. Do. Uh, yeah, but but you're in it all the way till the end, right. and everybody's close at the end. And what about goes um, Cards Against Humanity? Mm. Should we play a little round of Cards no. Against Humanity? No. Come on, Cards Against Humanity! Humanity! Does anybody have so, a... So, Leo, Leo like? I have a Chad Johnson card, because I you, Cards Against Humanity did a thing where it was 12 days of Christmas, yeah, you and got the it, right? last you one got is your name. Wow. So I have a my name. Can we play Cards Against Humanity? Does anybody have that? it? We could play it right down there. Can we play poker? No. 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 Have you got Cards Against Humanity? <laughs> I don't want to no. play Cards Against Humanity. It's pretty oh, horrible. Right now. Is on. it really horrible? I mean, you've done it's, it once it's, before. It's, it's we really we kind of got in trouble. It's, yeah. it's not. I it's, it's basically as almost as you got make. fired that day. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's as horrible as you decided. But it's, it is in the middle of the night. Stick with it. Where's Lisa? Yeah, well, I, uh, we, uh, yeah, we probably could end it, too. <coughs> Who's the last caller? Is it two or three? We, we do have them all the way up. Is it two? No, I think we have one at three. Oh, you're just going to deny the Aleutian <laughs> Islands. Way to go, 1%. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, well, the saddest part is we made a 22-hour <laughs> live stream. That's a good point. That's the one sad part of it. I feel like I've missed out I on the three hours. I can sit here for another Brian two hours. That's easy. Chad Will Harris cards against two and a half hours. Oh my God! Come on, that'll be amazing, right? Maybe, what? But do we have? After. First of all, it may be moot. Do we have a? a Does deck? anybody have cards against humanity here? Here? <laughs> You're like, no, nope, not taking it back. Nope, nope. Nobody has it. Clear to that. I could. I, I know oh. someone who has them, and we can get them here. <laughs> this sounds like a drug deal. I'm just gonna say, no, let's not do it. If you can get them here. Lisa's saying it. no, so we're not gonna do that. I agree. Um, okay, who's the yes. robot? What is happening? Well, I, I mean, I get that the robot has a name, and he lives uh, in San Diego, and he's controlling mm. it from the internet. Did you not see? It? Do you want to try it? Wait, can I can I be the robot? Yeah. Can you be the robot? Epinus? Brian? Why? I won the fuck uh, the game. <laughs> I'm I'm Is Cody is Cody still with us? I'm the best. It would be pretty fun. No. But maybe not on the air. That's fine. Hell. Yeah, it would not be on the air. We could play it off air. Yeah. Uh man, okay, so is there anything else planned? Hey, I'll tell honest, you what. Just, huh? just more Artemis. Okay, can we do? Can we do interview? Can we do one question? I was thinking I was just gonna sit on the edge of the stage and. Just 
Yeah, we're, we're, the only the only other thing planned is Artemis. Okay. Can we do can we do um Oh my god, the interactive oh, VCR. Oh, the, the, board the only game. other thing that I think would be applicable is just have you sit down with Steve and some other people that you like and just talk about the year, talk about New Year's resolutions. Oh god, that sounds boring. I need something okay. to keep me awake. Sorry. Okay, I'll give you I can do some shit. Some shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said that because you're so. Because <laughs> I'm British. Well, you're right. Yeah. It's a British. Because we have. For, we have what what, for what could you do things. for us, we, Will? Because we have a panel right now. There's a uh, an extremely um, qualified panel of of, of, extre <laughs> of extremely high quality tech personalities. There yeah, are some questions that we could ask. Man, I'll we'll, tell you what. If why don't we play sobriety yeah, test? Yeah, sure. I think that would be a fun game. Let's not play that, Brian. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Let's play okay. 2014. What's let, your. Let, let's play that. Will's not driving anywhere, right? <laughs> right. He's, he's, he's crawling home somewhere. Who wants to leg wrestle? Right. It's okay, Leah. So, so the thing I want to know is for 2014. Whoa. Okay, I want to see that. Whoa. I didn't do it. The leg thing wrestling. I want to know is for 2014, Leo, what is oh. the. Outside. I didn't do it. Outside. Is it a cork <laughs> left over from. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a confetti. So, um, so Leo. Uh, Yes. What is the the technology, the piece of the piece of gadgetry that you most want to see in 2014? <laughs> <laughs> My pillow. Um, no, there, there, there a replacement a for Skype is actually a replacement for Skype would be a very very oh my gosh. welcome. Do you think Skype, Skype is done, Leo? Yes, it, we've had, we have all sorts of trouble with it. It's been drilled into the ground. It's it's riddled. Microsoft's with, not doing a good job, I think. And so ads and upgrades. It would really help us to have a good, that, reliable way. And I think that's doable. That Tony Watts' face this is going to be like the CEO. Of Tony Microsoft? Bates? I don't think so. No. No. So I think do you think? Do you think 2014 is the? So so what I want to get from the panel. What I what I want to get from the panel is 2014 predictions. So 2014, uh, Tony Bates is done from Leo. Yeah, no, I think it's either Sachin and Dalla. Yeah. Or it's, it's th this. It's. I think it also could be Stephen Elop. Do you think Stephen Elop could still come back and get it? Yeah. Well, he's gonna come back. He's already come back because of the acquisition of Nokia. Okay. So it's so it's for, so for you it's Elop versus Nadella. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because the Microsoft board is very concerned. It's not that interesting, Brian, is it, Brian? No, no, okay. I know what Brian, Brian's saying. Brian, Brian. <laughs> I know what he's 2014, saying. 2014, Brian, Brushwood. 2014, what's your, what's your tech prediction? My prediction is we're all about to fall asleep in five minutes if you keep talking about tech acquisitions and who's been installed Who's going to be the office? CEO yeah, of yes. Microsoft is not <laughs> Brian, a compelling <laughs> Brian, topic. Brian, you you have a you have a shit. Where's where's your where's your cars? <laughs> I want to play I want to play the card thing. <coughs> Which the, card? Our uh, the iPad car mat thing. Okay, we can roll out the. Right uh, there. You want to try it? Oh, yeah. it'd be good to play it there. All right, let's all right. roll it out. Uh, in all seriousness, if you, if you want me to pick it's, some predictions, I want you to take a prediction. Uh, well, certainly, it's I'll tell you what, man. I am a tremendous believer in just uh, as far as the Pebble smartwatch. The Pebble smartwatch is the uh, Palm Pilot of wearable tech. It there. is something that does less, does it well, does it consistently, and opens up the possibility for other people. The uh, uh, whatever the Note 3 wearable thing yeah. is that you have to keep turning on and only lasts yeah, yeah. 20 minutes or whatever. Galaxy, That's not. Galaxy Gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that stuff is overreaching. I think the Google Glass is overreaching. I think everyone's trying too hard. I think that the Pebble Smartwatch gets the fact that uh, you pay 150 bucks and you get one thing. That's the ability to receive a message without reaching into your pocket. You save yourself like you know uh, uh, 20 of these per day, yeah. and you're thrilled to have it. And I think that we're going to build on that. Uh, in a smart way, and I think all of these competitors that are trying to overdo it are going to fail. And I think that, um, to be honest, uh, I think Apple's right to wait until uh, until it becomes a more mature market. What is this? So let me ask you a question, Brian. Paper? Because the problem is that the Pebble smartwatch is a watch about amazing technology. Mm -hmm. What happens to people who like watches? 
Like nobody like, likes they, watches. They like no. no. Look, we're not all millionaires, Will. We don't have monocles and mustaches <laughs> and afford to wear bling on our wrists. What kind of watch are you wearing? Of course they do. Bling smart watch. I see how you speak Spanish. What is that? <laughs> so, so when you look at watches, I can't believe that. <laughs> you have tags, you have Rolexes, you have Breitlings. Yeah. What happens when, uh, you know? Here, here's what do you, you do. Do you think okay. that? Do you think that Apple has to become a a, a name the level of Rolex to, to make to make a watch work? This is no no no. Uh, first of all, the high end, the right move from a branding is uh, yeah, Pebble wow, is a like bottom up revolution. So the high end is supposed to ignore it until they can come in with a higher fidelity of everything. The, the, the marketplace needs to mature so they can come back in on the high end with it. So what they do is for the next two or three years they just continue to make their you know mechanical gizmo. Uh, and it's up to Pebbles, and then and then you move up to the mid range, you know, maybe an Apple thing, so and then there'll be a, a high end like four, over there. Four okay, years from now. that's fair enough. Brian, give me really a want to? thought for 2014. I love you deeply, <laughs> and I'm physically aroused right Monopoly's now, Will. Boring. And tonight was one of the most boring. magical special Monopoly nights of my entire boring life. To an investor. I'll never forget the time that you did a very believable impression of me. And then you got up. And you what? sang the most, the sexiest what? version of Wrecking Ball that I've ever heard. Racist? I feel like in that moment, our souls became intertwined. We became Thanks. as one. You and I have always been together. It's just that for the brief moment that we've been alive, we were apart. And in that moment, we became one again, as was our destiny before and after we're born for all eternity. I love you, Will. I came in like yeah. a wrecking ball. What is what is this? Oh my God! Uh, Settlers of Gatan, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm down for whatever. I mean, 20 minutes till the thing. You ever played Apples? Yeah. No, I can't take it. I can't take uh, it. What's it called? Oh, okay. I was, I was, I was. All I'm gonna say is whatever that is. It's fine. I feel really bad. I got this whole area super sticky. That's all right. Chad, that's a comment. I guess you get to clean that up. Will Harris. Someone else. Very good. Especially the one we have people. I've never felt so privileged. Can I say, what impresses me more than the fact that you went strong for coming up on 22, 23 hours is the fact that, according to Steve Gibson, or as I want to call him, Skeev, Skeev Dibson. <laughs> that's, that's Skeev Dibson is, is evil. It's Skeev Dibson around the corner. Uh, according to Steve, you did not get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> that is remarkable. And he kept waking me up like, don't you have to decongest it? I'm like, quit waking me up. <laughs> I don't know why, I got in a loop about we wouldn't have anything to do in the first 10 minutes of the stream. I kept just thinking, like it was one of those. I know, uh, yeah, but I was just, I was just, my brain was just in this weird loop of like, we don't, we didn't decide anything. We don't know what we're gonna do in the first 10 minutes. Like, I was like, I was like, well, I, but no, it was one of those weird fever dream right before you go to bed things. All you have to do 10 minutes is nothing. Right, 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 right. But I could not go to sleep. It was, it was hard. I'll tell you what. I kept getting the, I need something. Do we have any decongestants? Yeah. Well, if we're only killing, if we're only killing 15 okay, so minutes. We, so let me ask. Do we have another call uh, after two o'clock? No. Yes. That I know. Of. Yeah, I thought we did. I thought we had a three o'clock. So I, I want to at least what? finish out. Well, okay. These people agreed to, to be on the show. Okay. Three is fine, but there's nothing else. We do have a three o'clock call. Okay. We were on before four. Yeah, we're gonna end before really four. Really no, no, I don't. Yeah, really take care. No, I'm gonna fall. Yeah. It feels like there's something. There should be something. Like going, uh, cutting it short. Maybe twenty. Brian, we'll just pass out on the table. Aren't you gonna strip? I saw you write Brooks piano across your chest. I feel I feel like that was just I feel like you've been that working on that chest. You really want to show that's magic. That's that <laughs> I manifested that upon my man breast. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, you stay awake? Uh sure. Let's call them. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, I, I, and this is this is to be honest. If, if we're killing time till uh, till 2 a.m., I would love to know 
what you thought went really well and what was the biggest surprise of today? Because today is, I mean, have you ever done anything like today, Leo? Uh, we did a 24 hours of iPhone. So yeah, we did one thing sort of like this on the second uh, iPhone. But how lame is that? <laughs> it was pretty pathetic. Uh, it was I, I love this. I love how, how, how away from Twit we can get. This was this was fun because uh, we, we got to see fun. people uh, in a different context. Thank you. Laptop? This is not my laptop. Oh. I don't have his laptop. Uh, this is, I spit all over it. It's not oh mine. God, it's probably mine. Anthony's. Oh, it's don't Anthony's. Don't you love your mag cozy, Leo? I love my mag cozy. Was that your idea? I think that's a great. Uh, did you see that? No. It's a little thing that wraps around your power. Oh, that's right. He has like some giant Toshiba. Mm. So it's not applicable. I enjoyed our beer tasting. You yeah. missed that. That was I did, fun. Well, yeah, and I was a little bit, I always get a little squirrely in the head before the magic show because so much Do of... Do you really? Well, well, the reason is is because I'm like, a music show, all you need is, is your guitar, right. and then you could decide to do as many or as few songs as right. you want. Whereas magic show, ev every variable has right. to be preset, right. so you could decide while you're in the show, like, oh, I do want to do this routine, I don't want to do... Because I, I saw you uh, at the Dignation event at Stubbs at South by Southwest. It was a very different show. You were mm -hmm. at and Ales, uh, a lot of different... Uh, some of the stuff is the same, but a lot of sure. it's different. So you vary your act... Uh, when I was touring full time, and we're talking like 150, 200 days on the road out of the year, Jeez. and I was doing nothing else, um, it was very easy to write two or three new routines, try them out, workshop stuff, decide, okay, this works, so th this doesn't, and then throw it out. Um, and over that time, I would say I developed maybe 120 minutes, uh, two, uh, two hours of material. Uh, right. Of that, I would say that 75, 80 minutes is the official like A show. Like if I'm doing a full evening show, I'll go in and do the whole thing. So in this case, we did 45 minutes, so it's nip and tuck on some of the extras. Can you kill, uh, can you kill everyone? Can you kill uh, oh, everyone? Those people who are talking. Uh, sorry. Mac, like, no, just kill them. It's just, uh, I mean, Physically we don't want too them. many mics on it. Yeah, sometimes. that was yeah. my fault. Physically. Um, that makes sense. So you get them to pick and choose from your 120. That's like a comic. Yeah. You create yeah, enough material to do a couple hours and you chick and choose from that. Right. Uh, well, and the difference though. But a comic can do it on the fly. You have to do it ahead of time. Well, and, and I think comics, like for their A material, like comic can go up and try to do improv, which for me is what M NSFW is. You know, yes, that's, that's, right. that's me going right. up and with Justin and just trying stuff. And, and again, I'm serious about what I talked about earlier with the freedom to fail and, and do terrible, uh, which is something you don't get when you're doing a paying gig right. at a college. It's like they're paying you money. So you got right. you got to be decent. Right. You can you can maybe experiment with one routine out of a full 80 minute show. Like I can afford five minutes of fail. Right. Out of that. When you say fail, is, is that an act that does that um, a trick that doesn't work, or Maybe. it just doesn't it doesn't win the crowd over? Or or it's like you don't know how it's going to go. You suspect it'll mm. be good, and there are times that the magic works, but the comedy doesn't. There's right. times like right, for example right, right, that right. Uh, the mind reading thing where I grab two volunteers and see if the images match. Yeah. There's one out of uh, twenty times that it just flat out. There's no world <laughs> in which those look remotely similar. In which case, I end the routine by saying. And that's why I don't believe in ESP. <laughs> and then the music hits, and I say, "Give them a round of applause." Yeah, and everyone it doesn't claps, work. And then go back. Yeah. That okay? I, yeah. See, I'm so tempted to ask you because uh, that implies that it actually is some sort of what, ESP. No, nothing is preset. Nothing. Uh, here are the rules for it. Nothing is preset. I don't meet up with anyone beforehand. I don't decide anything before the show. I genuinely walk out, and the only total wild card. I honestly don't know. What they're gonna draw, uh, I. But the the critical moment is when I walk out in the audience, and I have about 15 seconds to scan to see uh, based on eye contact who's gonna be right for it. And sometimes I don't pick right, and it doesn't work. And or or yeah, I mean that's. And you that's can sort of sense that. How do you learn that? Um, for that one, I look for. Men who are sitting next to women because they tend to be more confident. Taller men tend to be more confident, and mainly I look for who's willing to meet my gaze, right? Because that means they're interested in me to play the show. along. Yeah, well, and not not that there's anything to play along with, but just that just that they're present, you know? Because if they're yeah, I mean, you could that's the worst thing. You bring somebody up on the stage and they're just well, and that's yeah, and that'll kill you. Or or so, like yeah, or, or they, they try to be funny. Exactly. That's the worst. That's that is the worst is when somebody tries to help by being cute. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you what, and uh, to be honest, like a show like this is kind of a fascinating challenge because 
there's a critical mass. Small group. Once you get over 150 people, you can't lose right. because everybody's there to watch you and whatever right. you do, everyone agrees that They're they want to have a good time. Yeah. yeah, but but a smaller group like, and I, I guess, I don't know, there's enough social proof that everybody wants it to be a good show or whatever. But even then, I had some hecklers tonight. No, tonight, <laughs> and you can have an outlier that can screw it up because it's a small enough group that there's no, the consensus isn't strong well, enough to over, overwhelm them. And what's funny is you, you come up with a, uh, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, somebody was saying like, oh, you're, you're so polished, you know what to handle in every situation. And it was, I was listening to uh, Penn Jillette's show in which Michael Goudeau said, um, variety entertainer's life is for somebody who watches Groundhog Day and says, yeah, that looks like a good gig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like you get the same I'd two like to hours do it over, again. over and over and over yeah. again. And, and by Cheaper, the time you you've done it for 10 years, you've experienced yeah. it. I don't hear you. anyone's going to say. So you have these, these prearranged little bits. You know, you know, Brooke, so, are you oh, talking wait. to me? Because no. you're on mic. I'm sorry. What do you, what do you say? Like, Cheaper, no, what nice was, uh, you're still on mic. Because you did... You did. Uh, did you? Do, you did. Skype. Yes, Leo. I'm talking to our Skype guest. And uh, and you've done an SFW, which is shall we say loosely written? No, it's not not written. I mean, like bits are written, like skeletons. All right. Are so, for yeah. instance, you scared the hell out of me because I'm watching you guys do the songs, <laughs> and I think, oh crap, they're going to put me up there. There's no way I can compete. I mean, you guys, all three of you, even Will ha <laughs> Smith was very Will, Will Smith. Harris was yeah, very good. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah. Well, um, and he didn't. He wasn't prepared, but he's obviously was much more familiar with your shtick in the show. Um, and I and you were very smart. You gave me something I couldn't I couldn't fail at really. Well, and that's that's sort of that's actually an on purpose thing because we we evaluate like who hey, do we it's have. Hey, Ebert. Hey, hi, no. Chibu, You're welcome. Hey. I guess you're gonna be Hawaii. Chee. Oh, uh, one of us. All right. I know there was someone else that uh, was from Hawaii and they uh, were pretending to be from Alaska. Uh, well, in Boo. eleven minutes, yeah, I saw that one. In eleven minutes, we'll uh, count you down. Uh, to uh, 2014 in Hawaii. Right on. And I have a uh, HD webcam that's up on top of one of the big science buildings at UH Manoa. Oh, that's great. And it's pointing out towards Waikiki, so you should be able to see all the fireworks going off. Did you did you oh, catch great. that, Burke? Can you get that uh, link? Ha! Ah, huzzah! That's awesome. That's great. All right. Well, we'll be with you in just a second, Chibert. Right on. Yeah. I would, but I didn't want to. I kind of wanted to follow along on this. Oh, I, I was just. So, gonna, who does the structure of NSFW? You it, do that. It, Justin does. Like, uh, uh, Justin does the. I, I would say Justin does the loose planning, and uh, Did he just and, kiss you, uh, on the head. Yeah. Okay. Like, it, like a, he, it wasn't on the lips, like someone else. <laughs> he's a good kisser, but I'm I mean, not. Listen, the facial hair is a little fair. scratchy. Well, you know, you got to work for it. <laughs> You you gotta dig. If you want, like I mean, it's like, like going for gold. You gotta. You can't. If you want to be my lover. You gotta get with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> the wise and eminent sage, yeah. Scary yeah. Spice once said. Indeed. Uh, yeah, I mean, like uh, I think there there's a, a large part of it that I mean, for me and Brian, I think I'm probably the one who probably makes the final tweaks to it. But a lot of it is me and Brian going back and forth. So and you have a conference about, call ahead of time, or do you have a document? How do you do it? Conference call would be a very a very fun way to say at uh, 3 p.m. two hours before we really need to book the guest. We're like, uh, <laughs> what the hell we got? A, do? Yeah. do we need a guest? <coughs> and B, what should we do with them? But but or, and, or it has been a call for the last week where all you did was throw around an SFW. Yeah, no, no, we either over prepare or under prepare, and and we've had lightning strike both times. But what's interesting is when we have guests, we we evaluate like, okay, is this the kind of person? And sometimes we don't know. Tay Allen is in a great example of like some like for example um with with some guests we know that that when they try to be creative it falls flat or like if we were to try to make you sing we wouldn't know what we would get and and you know instead we wrote the bit. well to be fair to be fair like if we were just like we had a ton of stuff to do but like if we were just doing a leo episode i would have probably thrown you into like hey let's say leo needs to sing and then Whatever's gonna happen will be funny, right? Like, like even if you don't want to do it, yeah. But screaming goats it, made it a lot easier for me. Yes. Than had I do had to do a whole yeah. song. But I mean, like, I think like you, you try to get a sense of like, all right, are how do these people, like, do they fail well? Right. You know, like, will they fail entertainingly? Right. Because we fail 
entertainingly to each other. No, that's right? your job. Which makes it Yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. You're good. You know? and, and it's like, for example, Bonnie fails very, very entertainingly. Yeah, no. Uh, so that's yeah. why we keep repeatedly forcing her to rap because... Yeah, whenever, whenever Bonnie's on, <laughs> like, we get her to start talking about something and then we'll just play a freestyle rap beat. I, I love and... it that she's just a disembodied voice. <laughs> That is, uh, I think we need to evolve her out of that. We need. We need. I'd to like to see her. She's I'd a, like she's to a see puppet her. now. Does she not want to be on camera? Is that why? Well, that? The, the, the problem is, is NSFW happens just after she puts the kids to bed, so right. she's so not her in state to be on. <laughs> no, no, she's she's she. Uh, That's how I imagine. Doesn't feel sure. prettied up yeah. enough to be on camera. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, I could, it's a vehicle, I could never so get Jennifer to, worry to be on that. camera. Yeah, she wanted to. She wanted to know. We had us in the cottage. We had a a corridor that was. You know, in the in the main studio that you could walk in, that you would not be on camera, and she just knew where that was, and she would only go there because she didn't want to ever be on camera. Yeah, she is like the it. invisible wife. Yeah, some people just don't like that. <laughs> so uh, not us, as we stand here at one o'clock in the morning in front of the cameras. Hey, there we go. You're back. I'm so glad. We sorry we we're so mean to hey, you, you last fake hour. Alaskan. Yeah, what's up, Aleutian? <laughs> what's your name? Uh, Clayton. Hi, Clayton. And uh, where Clinton. are you? In, where are you, Clayton? Clinton. I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii. Honolulu. Is it Clayton or Clinton? Oh, Clayton. Yeah, Clayton. Clayton. Hey, do you do a lot meet, of crab meet fishing? Chebert. And of Hawaii. Well, Chebert's also. also. Are you in Honolulu also, uh, Chebert? Actually, I'm on the other side of the island in Kaneohe. How fast well, can you get to the other side? Same geographic area. Yeah, yeah it's about a 20 minute drive. Close. So yeah, it'd be a big zone. high five, right? Yeah, if you, you guys both, both, if you both went, went right now, you can make it just in now. time. Yeah. <laughs> High five each other. It'd start, be great. start a Google Hangout. <laughs> well, Clayton and uh, Chebert are going to help us uh, ring in the new year in Honolulu. You know, you always think of uh, of Hawaii being the end of uh, the line, but there actually are two more hours in this marathon. Is is American Samoa further out? American Samoa is the last one. The first one is one? Samoa. Oddly enough, the last one is American Samoa. Mm. So we're like, yeah, we're that dude. Yeah. We're going to be the last one. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. up with us? We do American not have Samoa, anybody in American Samoa. So if you are in American Samoa and you'd like to be part of this, you would like to guarantee that we stay here to the goddamn bitter end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, Boy, then, quit playing. Then call <laughs> us. <laughs> but I'll hate you forever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sure, he's late, but what's he going to do? He's Samoan. <laughs> is that a Samoan stereotype? No, it's a Pulp Fiction line. Oh, okay. You are uh, you 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 live the Pulp Fiction life. Do you watch that movie over and over? Oh and my over god, it was my favorite ever. movie. Yeah. Okay, and by was his favorite movie, I mean is, it, it, like every time it's on Netflix, it's what he goes to sleep listening to every single night. And it's uh, the writing you love. That that and that and 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 Dust Till Dawn. But yeah, like those are the two like Quentin Tarantino scripted movies that I'll watch constantly yeah. over and over and over. I haven't again. seen Dust Till Dawn. And Mary Poppins. It's, so uh, it's that. terrible. It's so good. It, it's well, okay. This is what's is fascinating. Is it early uh, Tarantino? Uh, it? it was actually the first script he ever sold. And he never got it made. And then after uh, Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs got made, and he became friends with Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. Oh, it's a Rodriguez. And so Rodriguez directed it. Uh, so, so, and what's fascinating about it is the and it first might be half the, the movie. only movie that he wrote that he is happy with it being directed by another person. Mm -hmm. Really? All the other movies, uh, he wrote Natural Board Killers and he wrote uh, True Romance and he hates both of those movies. Both of them actually. Are yeah. Well, Christian but, Slater uh, was in Dust Till Dawn, like yeah, the first the half of the movie right reads yeah. very much like Pulp Fiction and then all of a sudden vampires show up and they just what? throw away everything. There's vampires? And, like there's literally yeah. a moment where they go, <laughs> yeah. okay, what do we know about vampires? <laughs> it's a genre And then it's film all tropes yeah, from so there on out. Like, yeah. That's where like, the second movie begins. The first half is a Tarantino movie in the vein of Pulp Fiction of Reservoir Dogs. And the second half is a Rodriguez movie. they have to hide out past Meat is it, it, it's Mexico, an Alamo in Mexico, yeah. Yeah. and then it becomes yeah this very uh, it's which very to good. me I, I found I found a, a horrific betrayal of what mm -hmm. I had expected from Tarantino but and I and we were talking about this because you were how old when it came out uh 15, 14 15 something? yeah I think I, I have to feel like that had something to do with it. oh yeah where it's people like, get imprinted yeah, 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 yeah. that's I true mean, of everything I you know I, I don't think for instance Star Wars one the first three movies were any good at all, but because people saw them at a certain age, they got. I know it's. It's. I mean, that's words. fine. I mean, I think you're right. Probably it's definitely. I mean, there are people who legitimately, hilariously think there's anything good about any of the prequels. Right. They're all wrong. Right. Yeah. I mean, really, uh, George Lucas is a hack. 
I that, mean, listen, it's, it's really, really hard to argue that if you look at the balance of all the movies he's made. Yeah. Right? Like, because even if you love the... American the, Graffiti's the, okay. The original He cares trilogy. about every, all his movies. Like, stack Not up about all the movies he's made, and it's hard to argue hack. that he is yeah. batting 500. He's kind of a hack. Yeah. He's a hack. Like, and granted, like, movie directors, like, you really are, if, if you're, if you, if half the movies you do are good, you're, you're doing really, really well. It's hard. Like, I mean, think how hard it is to make a movie. It's a There's really so idea. many moving parts, and you really don't have full control of what you're doing. Yeah. Unless you're, you know, very lucky. It's also safe to say that with with the original trilogy, the best work that was done was done further away from George oh, Lucas. That's without a doubt. If you look at, um, and, and even if you don't think there are, any of them are great, uh, I don't know. I mean, number I guess one, you're wrong. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, okay. I mean, let's just get that Howard out of the Howard the Duck, right. great movie. Yeah. Okay, please. <laughs> great movie. Hey, listen, sort of that whole thing. Now I know you're hey, drunk. Let's make Marvel properties into movies. <laughs> That's, all right, all right. Was Actually, it, isn't that what killed that us? Is that is the worst movie yeah, I mean, ever. Yeah, put it in the 10 years of <laughs> there, spaces. Yeah, there was all And I'll watch about. anything. I, okay, <laughs> you know what? There is one thing. If we're going to talk Star Wars, we can't talk about this because we're almost out of time. Disney buying Star Wars is the best thing to happen to Lucasfilm. Agreed. Greatest thing to happen Agreed. because if anyone who says otherwise uh, Disney brought us the Avengers they exactly. made possible the three year no. arc of amazing Marvel movies that I made completely that agree it's going to save that the franchise frankly Oh, and the Muppets, and, the Muppets, the Muppets and, uh, and they did a good job of preserving Pixar. I mean, talk about you'd be happy if a filmmaker was batting a thousand or uh, five hundred. Disney's practically doing Pixar a is a thousand. Although yeah. Pixar, Pixar is a thousand. Pixar, their choice was either take basically ownership of Disney, right, or start a right. rival studio that uh, could like. like basically like or be on par with like they would either own disney or be disney right like their own version of disney right and they decided to basically just own disney like now all the creative uh decisions that are being made are being made by pixar people and steve jobs basically was the largest like disney shareholder before he died we are coming up right on uh, the uh, new year in uh, hawaii and the aleutian islands uh the the pacific and uh, boy, I wish I were there oh, right now. Don't Ezreal you? New Type is claiming that Pixar did planes. Nice try, jerk. <laughs> that ain't true. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that's Disney a lie. That was, Dis that was a Disney made-for-television property that they realized that they could claim. It's kind of like the, cars, the car, only yeah. they're in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and with Although Dane that being Cook. said, Cars is ba is like Star Wars level merchandising. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like they right, here we go. Nothing but cash. The thing Lucas does well is transmedia. He is very good at that whole merchandising. Merchandising. merchandising with Here we go. Forty-five seconds to midnight. Chebert, Clayton, are you ready? Ready. All right. Ready. All right. Is the uh, is the beach fired up? Is the fireworks ready to go? Here we go. Thirty-three Definitely. seconds. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Everybody, get your champagne out. It is soon to be twenty fourteen. In Hawaii. A little anticlimactic after we got there. It kind right? of is. We it's just like, whatever. You know, it's Welcome like, to the club, We're jerks. really just being generous, yeah. uh, including them in the whole yeah. thing. It's adorable. Here we You're go. You're like our little brother. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello. Hello. Meli Kalekimaka. And the giant donut. I didn't know we had a donut drop. That's awesome. <clears throat> happy, happy <clears throat> New Year in Hawaii. Chibert, like did you just stay up just for this? Are you going to go to bed? Well, he's drinking out of a beaker. Oh, yeah. You like that? What the heck is that in there? Single malt. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Ah, looks like what they drink in the, the Matrix, fireworks. like on the ship. And how do you say uh, Happy New sir. Year? In Hawaiian, it's you got the Merry Christmas correct. That's Meli Kaliki Maka. Yeah. Happy New Year's Haole Makahiki Ho. All right, I'm gonna try it. Clayton Haole Makahiki Ho. Mekahini Ho. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's great to talk to both of you. Chiba, of course, a regular with uh, Faber Robert. Faber, Faber Robert. Faber Robert. Faber Robert. Faber Robert. Faber Robert. Uh, this I love, weekend, I love the idea. Roger, Roger. Uh, want, is, we, is Clayton dancing? Is What's going on in there? Is Clayton doing a, a little... Uh, nope. What is that sound? He's just standing there. Oh, it's it's fireworks. Um. My neighborhood loves fireworks. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Well, Clayton, <laughs> happy new year. 
Chebert and uh, Father Robert appear regularly on This Week in Enterprise Tech. Happy New Year to you. And uh, have, a, have a wonderful 2014. Thank you. Peace I want and a, prosperity uh, to enjoy you Enjoy the island. I want, a, I want a special. Um, I want a special Take show. Care, guys. Oh, look at that! It's all gone too. Good man. Lychee, lychee nuts. He he's sneaking it home in his belly. <laughs> hey, let's go back in the back room where Jeff Needles is finally finishing. You don't have a camera? Should we carry it out here? Nothing could go wrong. Cheaper, Wait a minute. Stick around if you want. What the hell? You finished the London Thank Bridge. Bye. All right, guys. Bye, bye, Chebert. Bye, Clayton. Take care. Bye. We like you're a dungeon. Germ twenty four. You can keep saying a thing, but it's not oh, yeah, true. Yeah, oh, yeah. Lucas Hart's game. Yeah, no, that is true. What? And whatever. What? Happy uh, New Year. Lucas Hart's was the wrong one. What is that? Yeah. Oh. Thing. Oh yeah. By the way, someone said that Pulp Fiction is Disney. That yeah. I mean yes. Like Pulp Fiction is now owned by Disney, but oh, I don't believe that when it was released, Miramax. Oh, it's Sonic a yeah. Uh, it's a Sonic screwdriver. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I want to see a show with Faber Robber and <laughs> Steve Dibson. <laughs> I like Steve Dibson. I really think that's a great name. Faber, All right, we're going to go back Faber now to uh, Johnny Ives' white room. <laughs> it's me, Faber Robber. <laughs> we're going to pull all these capers, eh? Tower Bridge Just has been built. The other way. It is the best Steve Lego model place. we've ever made. Let's take a look. We don't have hey, a camera. Boss. Uh, well, what five. was that wire that went back there? There was a camera there. We had to take it out long time ago. No, no, they brought one back just now. Oh, so what the okay. what the hell? Take are they five. Doing back there? Ready five? No. Take five. Hold please. Skeev Gibson, and there. Oh, look at that! Huzzah! Wow, you know he did that in like five minutes. He was <laughs> racing that car. It's, it's basically Steve how Gibson. he. It's, oh, that poor car! Oh, no. oh, oh the humanity! Where is Will Smith when we need him? Describing what is happening tonight on the Tower Bridge. What? Isn't that where uh, Sherlock no. Holmes uh, reached its climax, or his There's climax? There's a pileup on the bridge. <laughs> well, okay, not the climax of the show, but I'm just saying he had a date once. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was very excited by the architecture. Yeah, yeah, and it's can't it's a cantilever design. Steve Dibson. Uh, very nice, very very nice. Thank you, Jeff Needles. That is beautiful, actually. Now karate chop it. Yeah, come no, on, man. Oh, you guys. Godzilla. You guys. Godzilla. Godzilla. No, 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 no. Fall on it. Uh, Send someone yeah. in there. What Send is that point of that? What is the point of that? Do it. Demo. You guys are Demo. bloodthirsty. Demo. Do it. No, bloodthirsty. No. God, you Don't guys. Don't make him destroy everything he loved. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's part of life. Do you have a little bit of, Do you have a little Lord Blackwater hanging by his throat in the middle there? Only I know true destruction. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Nice, Jerry. All right. Hey, Jeffrey Needles, our Lego master, has done it again. And, you know, it's so funny because he started it, and then he just really screwed off for almost the whole show. Yeah. And then, like, no in kidding, the last Jeff. 15 minutes, Locker. he goes, yeah, I'll put it together. A little bit like an NSFW episode. Yeah, Locker. pretty much like planning for NSFW. Except for that whole, like, mastery of art thing at the end. <laughs> Knowing what he's doing. Yeah. F and Dunn said he brought the robot in there and stole a piece off of it. Once again, violating, I think, the robot rules. Now, was there, I seem to remember, a short story in which there was a fourth rule that screwed everything up, which was a robot could not, by it's inaction, called, allow harm to become home, or come to a human. Right. And then that became, uh, in the short story, that was one of the crappier basically Asimov humanity books. became enslaved in padded cells. Because and they took good mush. care of them. Yeah, because yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, they couldn't allow them yeah. the freedom. Asimov was really, a f he really had fun. Uh, with the uh, the implications of each of those rules, he just wrote. Was he? Yeah, he wrote oh, like nonstop. Keep in mind, you know, you know, Justin used to host a show with James the Amazing, Amazing Randy. Love and, Randy. And and so uh, James Randy has the the Isaac Asimov Library. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, and yeah, no, he and, was he was really good friends with him. Oh, uh, I had no he, idea. He'll always tell a story of uh, whenever he would call him, uh, he would have two uh, typewriters <laughs> that would be the, like side by side, and he would always be working on multiple projects, and he would. Like, he'd pick up the phone and be talking to Randy, and he would hear typing wow. in the background, and he was having the conversation. While wasn't he was like, writing. It wasn't, like, distracted. Yeah. He would be having a present conversation, wow. and it was like listening to news radio with, like, the right. ticker tape. <laughs> I'm just like, Brrr, and, like, he thought something else was going on, but it was Isaac writing while he was on the phone. You'd have to wonder what something like that would have done in the computer era, what his output might have been. 
You know, it, it, it's, <clears throat> it's interesting because I, I think in terms of like the uh, the speed at which he puts stuff down, like with like a modern typewriter, probably wasn't all, all that right. much more. And editing's a lot easier though. Oh yeah, certainly, certainly. Well, but there's also um, was it? I want to say he was a monster though. Not. Brian Cant, uh, Brian Cranston. No, 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 Brian. <laughs> Brian Brushwood. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, sure. uh, there, there, there's somebody who uh, is sci- sci-fi author, something Brian initial, whatever last name, mm-hmm. who who does like he goes like on three mile walks and just dictates three hours at a time, yeah. and then books are made from it. Yeah. Which you know, his name is Brian Jerkface. Stuff is also, I mean, like, Brian who? Jerkface. I want to say like, <laughs> Jerkface was that? Jerkface, yeah. Yeah, like the face of a derp. Yeah. That sounds good. What's that? Okay. That's all right. I'm not into cutting insults about literature. <laughs> I, I, yes. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, was that not real? Was no. That his name no, is no, no, Brian. That's totally real. Yes. I, I, it, it, the problem is I want to say Brian K. Anderson, but I think that's someone I know from a totally different context. It's mm-hmm. difficult. Can we all just look up Brian K. Anderson real quick? Uh, and crank call him. Brian K. Vaughn? Is that uh, uh, the chairman no, says? Brian no? K. Vaughn is. Uh, I the, think it, uh, who, is the, the last who, man? Who, who is the guy? Yeah, that's 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 who I'm not thinking of. Um, who is the guy who did the uh, the the House Corno and the the new Dune books with? Um, I'm just making Jan. stuff up. Yeah, Kevin Jenner. So okay, why do you hate him? Did you say new Dune the, books? I think he's the one yeah. that I'm thinking of. Mm, he just yeah. walks and dictates. Mm. That's what Wait, he was saying. That's literally Dictates the words I just jogging. said, and then you said them back to that me. That is a yeah. dick move. Okay, yeah, no, no, that's amazing. That's a dick move. Mm. Yeah, Brian the Dog and Family Guy. You, who, is, is he, he dead? dead? He's dead. Is he dead? No, no he's coming back. back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bring him back. Right. Time Brian, machine. They built face. the time machine. Yeah. yeah, brought him back. All right. Yeah, I knew they would. Because it's the oh my God. Hold on. Yeah. We're not in the business of telling art stories. We're right. in the uh, this business is amazing. of printing money. Yes. Web 9501 just gave a good guess, but it got filtered as <laughs> Philip, Philip K. K. Vaynerchuk. <laughs> it's Philip K. Dick. <laughs> that happens all the time. In fact, that's a game we could play right now in the chat room, is what words that are real words and natural, normal words but that would be filtered with the Vaynerchuk filter. Yeah, I love Everybody this Everybody curse right now in the, in the chat but No, don't we'll curse. That's say, the point. Is say, nor, say <laughs> no, not curse naturally, words. Naturally. Naturally. What, yeah. I mean, you must have some experience with... Uh, what, okay, for example, what if you're going to light a bundle of sticks on fire? What would that, what no, would that mean? No, 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 no. <laughs> See, you can say spotted dick. How odd is that? But you can't say Philip K. dick. Okay. You could. No. You can type it. <laughs> There's nothing I can say. This, this is not, this this is is bad, not going this well. It was, a bad, <laughs> it was a bad game. <laughs> Nelson Mandela. Yeah, Good job. No. Oh. Pussy galore. Look at that. <laughs> wow, you could just type dick. Look at that. <laughs> Why did Philip K. Dick get screwed? I don't know. But and just typing dick, dick goes Dyke. right through. <laughs> Oh, they're typing Vaynerchuk. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Wait, that's what we were talking about the whole time. <laughs> like, that's Tell quite what, fun. Create a bunch. <laughs> hey, these scamps. <laughs> they probably have a Vaynerchuk macro. They just hit it. No, I do it all the time. Whenever they feel like swearing. That's, I, that's uh, right. That's what right. I do when well, I feel like I think, swearing. Uh, are we calling it? That's going to be we're it. We're out of here. Uh, all right. Leo Laporte. You're going to leave me all alone, huh? about to rock 23 hours of live streaming. We <laughs> no, I got to. another uh, 45 minutes at least. In fact, I think as long as we're this close. Oh my God! All the way. Huh? We're gonna go all the way. Why not? I'm just. We have, I'm worried we have about another caller. Content. We have another caller at three. We have another caller at three. I'm just worried about content. I don't know what to do. This is okay. You know, you now's not me, the time to worry about the content. The whole purpose <laughs> of you doing the whole experiment so that you could enter this euphoric. Um, I, I am in a state right this now. This is this is you wanted to be. Uh, what's his name? Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis in the last. Uh, I, you even, I, look at this. You even I, are looking at uh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Soon I'm going to punch a stage ant. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, so come on, you'll ever walk alone. Good. You've been told to come replace yeah, them. All right. Good <laughs> job. Who, who good good luck with that. We're taking. We're taking our. All right. You say goodbye. Peace take out. Your yeah. Take that. All right. Oh, thank yeah, you so much. Jeff Vaynerchuk. Wonderful job. Great. Job. It was amazing. You are it's good night. King. King of, you are a hell of a kisser. <laughs> oh, hug Chebert. Hug Chebert. Hug Chebert. Oh. Look at that. You're left. I lift you all alone. What? I don't want to talk to that. Hi, Chabram. Jeff, say hi to say hi to Chebert. How's it going, people? Poor Chibert. 
Oh, and Brian. Uh, yeah. Hey, Padre, why don't you... Say hi to Captain Morgan? No. No? Um, Who would win Sorry, in Ashley. Fight? Try to leave. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Do, do you have the average okay. has more money. All right, no, right. No, no. Okay, now, that means? this is a serious question. Okay, yeah. it's going to sound yeah. silly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you guys sit around and talk about previous pontiffs, or, or maybe maybe it's not good? Do you guys try to put? All right, here you guys like sit around and say, okay, everybody gets three pontiffs. Okay, and then <laughs> it's ask, a fight ask to what the a death. like a strategy. Can I ask what a pontiff so is. So who's okay. your? Who's Look, your... you're out. You're out. Yeah. That was your one. Jesus. I'm Get sorry, out. needles. Yeah. That's. You're worse than the needles from Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, this, this, oh. is a, this is a very good question because, you know, uh, uh, Jesuits tend to be intellectual, so we do sit around the chat room and occasionally talk about popes and reigns. But I think the last six months, we've been mostly focused on, on the movie draft. On so we talk about that every night. <laughs> and, you know, there's been some prayer there going, well, we'd like to see a change in the standings but, okay, the last week or so. I, go, I, I would hope, totally... I you, yeah, you enjoy the pudding. I would <laughs> totally, totally... It's a fake, it's a fake draft. A million, it's, oh, it's not oh. a real draft. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. You guys, you guys? I just want to say <laughs> that, you know, I, I believe the Puerto Rican League of the movie draft wait, has always talking, been the most important. Wait, quit talking, quit talking, you guys. Say, say goodbye to Chibert. Say goodbye, Chibert. I can't hear you. They're just talking and talking. On, where's my mic? Thank you. Yeah. On NSFW, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, you did a McLaughlin group. Well, I yeah, did, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know that John McLaughlin is? That's right. Former Jesuit. I what? did not know that. No. Not only is a Jesuit, but uh, I believe he taught at, uh, he yes, was he a. Did? Uh, was he ever a priest? Uh, he was not a priest. Didn't, didn't but he was a Jesuit. He was a Jesuit. Did you know that the current uh, governor of California used to be a Jesuit? Jerry Brown, yeah. No kidding. Moonbeam. Mm. He, well, he was a seminarian. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so that's a little... But I think that uh, McLaughlin... Mm. Why do I think that he McLaughlin. took the... McLaughlin took the cloth. I thought he did. Well, mainly because the Saturday Night Live sketch, he was wearing a robe and showing up. Remember he showed up in a robe? No, and, I don't. And, like, they did, they did um, Dana Carvey, like, doing the bit, and then, oh, then, then a guy oh, in a robe showed up. you were doing Dana up. Carvey doing Do John yes, McLaughlin. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. yes, I, I, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that's a little different. Dana Wrong. Carvey's... Dan, Dana Carvey's impressions have... Uh, they're all planted reality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. For for George uh, H W Bush and it's unfortunate. Dan McLaughlin. Absolutely. Well, actually, I believe McLaughlin was a Church fobber. ladies. A fobber. A um, uh, fobber robber. He was a fobber. He's a he, fobber. Was a, he was a yeah. fobber robber. By yeah. Heber. He used to travel with. Uh, with uh, I know what you do. You want to play rock band? And he would rob it. Oh no. You want to play rock band? Oh, God no. You want to play rock band? <laughs> Dude, I, uh, you know Schubert? what? Chebert, come back. Chebert's out. Back, Chebert. <laughs> Should we play rock band? Because I'm the Pope. Do we I'm have the capability? I, I think, I think we do. All, you, the are you know All the machines are gone. All the machines are gone. I'm the Pope. We no longer have the capability. We could play uh, Artemis. Could play I don't know. That's a sad Shatner. looking And crew. by the way, I, I just found out you can initiate a warp core breach on your own ship. Oh. oh. <laughs> and now it's a supernova. Yay. Padre, are you, in, are you in a feud with Adam Curry? Uh, no, evidently shots no, fired. Uh, no, no shots. I but, sent you know, Adam Curry a bobblehead of me with the words "blow me" on the bottom. Does that count? <laughs> well, I don't know. Did he? Did <laughs> I feel? I don't know, Brian. Do you feel like that, that qualifies the... as hashtag shots fired? We yeah, were kind of hoping to send a video right. back from him of him shooting it with that judge, the little handgun. Oh shotgun yeah, he's thing. got the shotgun that's a pistol, very mm. Texan, only legal in Texas, probably. Is it? So wait, what it's happened? A Brazilian what gun. happened? Uh, evidently, I, I guess I used a line during Twyat that he uses at the end of every one of his show, the best dang podcast in the universe. I had no idea. Yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah. Look, I got I got called. That. Okay, you realize before I ever appeared on Twit with John C. Dvorak, John C. Dvorak, the first time I heard him you mention guys my are name, so good together. He he was uh, somebody wrote in and said, "I want you to call Brian Brushwood a douche because he said something whatever. I I don't even remember what it was. It was something that was perceived as a slight. Same yeah. deal. And so he was like, fine." Brian Brushwood, you're a douche, and he did, and then uh, and I was like, what did I do? Shots Twitter, hard. Twitter is really all about stirring this stuff up. Yeah, I mean, that's I the really, way it's followers. so easy to go into Twitter and just fire off a line that's designed to get somebody angry at somebody else, and then yeah. you disappear and you watch for the fireworks, and it really has become, I think, in a lot of ways, it's the pollution that's happening. It's a Twitter. troll here's, training ground. Here's the uh, bobblehead. Yeah. So let's start a Twitter war right 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, hold on, wait a minute. I'm trying, I'm trying to stir something up with Brian. Here. Oh, what's it? Oh, second batch. Oh. Yeah, camera. just so you know, oh, the second batch are coming out. Halfway to our goal. All right. On this All second right. batch of bobbleheads, one of them like will be signed oh, "Blow Me" by Leo Laporte. You don't know which <laughs> Only one. one. Only one. <laughs> Teespring.com slash <laughs> Twitter. We need to. If we don't have a run of what, if 400, 300, uh, it, uh, it, it's not economical to make them. So uh, we sold the first 300. Those are done, and we need about 160 more to get to uh, a second. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you tweeting? It's good. I'm no. trying to stir are you drunk tweeting? He's, no. he's, he's dropping no. truth no. bombs, man. Drunk all tweeting. over the place. Shots, Shots fired at who? Shots fired. Yeah, no, that's good. At Ali Spags? I guess I got to go get my... <laughs> Yeah, go I just listen. I, I heard on Twitter that you called Brian a dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, man. I wonder what uh, Brian's going to do about it. I'm, I guess I'll go get my phone. This is how schisms start. <laughs> this is exactly it. And then, a thousand years later, you're going to start a new, a new church, Pierce. 1776. <laughs> Build a, a, I think you're a secret fan of NSFW. <laughs> I think you seem to know a lot of the tropes. See, I I, I have to go to the NSFW episodes. wiki. Mm -hmm. Is there a wiki so I can uh, learn yeah, what no, all BBPedia. this crap means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a BBPedia. whole uh, in, a, a encyclopedic reservoir. Because if you haven't been listening fairly regularly, it's all in jokes. Well, but there was an agreement with the host a long time ago to oh, never I, explain I, the in jokes, which is right. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah, just that's going. Well, that's the right I think thing. We, we're like. Our audience is not big, nor is it growing, uh, <laughs> but it's steady, and it is passionate. And it you learn. I, I didn't know anything about ski cheating until I watched NSFW. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. You could ski to sheet all day. I didn't even know what fabric was. <laughs> is Brian calling you uh, to, uh, no, to that's a, inflame that's, that's your... No, that's that star of, uh, of Don't Trust Andrew Main beginning uh, January 13th. Andrew Main himself trying to call me. No kidding. Yeah. So uh, he's got a big, uh, big old television show. Uh, Thirteen episodes on the A and E network. Uh, what's he? What's he drunk dialing you at two eighteen in the morning for? I'm probably bragging. About we were, we were thinking about starting you know, a show called uh, Jesus Brian Eve. Brushwood. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. He's he's probably at me out in the town. Andrew Trying Maine. to do some well wishes. Was that a was that a name drop? That was a little bit of a name drop. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, just, I just heard calling. somebody's talking smack on Twitter. <laughs> 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 Drunk dial. We could drunk dial some people. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you who yeah, might be. Another I, thing. I'm not gonna say somebody's drunk dialing, but uh, <laughs> hey, look, yeah. How many? Uh, Three or four? Oh, yeah. Veronica <laughs> Belmont says, "Love you." Uh, stole all my caps. line. I'm drunk. F you guys. Love you. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> What line was that that you stole? I have no idea. Drunk child of four. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's on a group text. I think somebody else said Happy New Year. And then she got, oh, all right. She sounds a little, I don't know. A little wait, why happy. didn't I get oh, your happy. group text? Oh, wait, okay, so. Mass so, text. Mass text. I'm in your I'm in your text. Text. So, so you. Uh, See, again, it's in <laughs> jokes. I don't get any of these. Oh, I feel man. like Larry King sometimes. <laughs> Tulsa, go ahead. Oh, Gypsy, you're on the line. <laughs> uh, okay, so so I when I left, I, all this time I was I was waiting to see if if Leo remembered Andrew Maine from reading Public Enemy Zero, and no, I, mean, I like, love the book. But but I mean like like Andrew's stuff is about to be huge on A and E. I like, saw the uh, promo for that. Uh, yeah. What? I didn't know he's a, so he's a musician and a novelist. Yeah, that doesn't seem right somehow. You should pick one. Yeah, he really that seems like an overachiever. You get one skill. Just I try to yell at him about that. I'm like, like hey, that. stop succeeding in so many like things. That. I love uh, Patient Zero. That's <laughs> uh, a great public enemy public enemy zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which hopefully, yeah, well, it's the same it was, idea it was, though, right? It was it's option. The, it was option for a movie, and and they they keep trying to make it's it work. perfect for a movie. Uh, but Angel Killer, his uh, his detective novel, just got uh, publishing deal. Gosh, yeah, I hate that. So that'll be out in, I hate that. in bookshelves. Annie's got a TV show on Annie. And Annie that. show. I'll tell you what, man. Don't trust Andrew Maine. Facebook.com. Actually, I don't. He does too much. Andrew Maine. He couldn't Andrew possibly Maine. be. He's probably. I mean, look, like I was just he's talking. He's probably jogging him. while he writes those novels, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not a jogger. He has a personal trainer, but uh, <laughs> oh. who works out for him? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what I need. Oh, is Veronica join us again in the chat room? I, I would pay if someone could el else could exercise my body for me while I'm doing something else. That'd be a good move. Yeah, yeah. I'd like that. Yeah. I mean, that way you could have the best dang podcast on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you already do. It's the best dang podcast on the internet. 
Uh, he stole it from That'd me. That'd be a very weird thing to get sensitive about. <laughs> no, nah, it was one of his fans starting he, up. He starting li- up that's stuff. exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think Adam likes uh, a little bit of that little, little going drama. on. Well, he, it, it's good for business. Yeah. He likes that. So he likes to, he encourages it. He encourages stirring it. That's up. rough. We yeah. should call Patrick Norton or Veronica Belmont. I, I would I not want to call Patrick um, Norton right now. Yeah, he's got kids. Yeah. I think he'd hit me with a sledgehammer. <laughs> I think he's sick of that raccoon. That's that would be just a great. What's the longest you stayed awake in your life? Uh, this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I was never one for all nighters. I never saw the point. Some nighters, maybe. <laughs> a few nighters. I did about 104 hours not too long. Did you really for driving? Were you driving? No, it was when the Pope was in South America. Oh wow. That was, I don't. Oh, know that's a that. long. That's how long? How many days is that? That's. It's like four, four days. Yeah. Holy cow. Five days. I not don't ever do that. It's five days. I was like an I think Dem ninety is making a But what happens and that's happening to me right now is after about twenty four hours. You're gonna you don't feel tired. No, no, you're fine. You're, you're, you're gonna go to bed. I can keep going. going. Tweet, you're fine. I said, yeah. like, finally there's a reason I regret having cable when when I mean, Because you didn't really get you didn't drink all that much. Oh, that was really funny. You won't be hungry. Oh no, I was intentional. I remember that. I forgot it. I'm drinking tea and coffee and yeah. Hey, we, we, one thing that we had planned we didn't do, uh, OMG Chad was going to do a That's Minecraft right. uh, face-off with uh, Miriam Joar. What was that all about? What was... I think Miriam was just going to be a guest during the time. Mm. I see. I, I see. They see. Weren't okay. Related. They weren't... Discuss whether or not Miriam's a real name. I don't think it is. Or is it fake? <laughs> I, I think she... I think your face is fake. Is that the question? I mean, listen... Well, I got to say, uh, Leah, this argue. was a great idea. And then well silence. Done. I, <laughs> silence for 10 you know, minutes. it's funny because the first year I proposed it, it was next immediate, yeah. immediately. Yeah. Um, this works. Lisa said nobody will, nobody will work it. Uh, what about our New Year's Eve? Mm. And it's a terrible idea. Um, and I said people will work it. And I said if they don't want to work it, I'll do it. I mean, I'll just be here. Um, but what, but and then so we were a little bit better. We planned it a little bit long uh, farther ahead uh, this year. I really did want to do it. I think um, it went great. It seems like it just seems like such a natural thing. A, it's a, you got to do stunts once in a while, right? To attract attention, do something different. I think it also shows off the studio. I mean, that's the thing is like you guys have this amazing space. The capabilities and, and, and are so incredible. rarely is yeah. it kind of shown but you off. You know what made it was the people this, showing up. It wouldn't be well, nearly as fun if we didn't have an audience. Great audience, and the and and the, all the staff. Not only did all the staff come in, but they all worked their butts off. Uh, for a long time, I mean, Jeff flew out. We, we found the Pro XBN banner. <laughs> bring up the banner. There's no, bring up the banner. No more, Brian will show his no chest, of, and that'll be. Uh, we'll give them a freebie. Gone. Where was the banner? Under the desk. Under the desk. Okay. Don't trust Andrew Maine, but do trust Pro XBN. Yeah. yeah, sure. Trust them to, <laughs> to protect you from Andrew. May- <laughs> hey. <trust> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, no, that was a good bit of advertising. It's Tell you what, Partly man. why we did it, partly to acknowledge our audience, partly to get together with our, all our friends and have a party. Uh, a lot of things. And, you know, I mean, the, the, being able to get Brian to perform uh, is great. I think I, doing I'm it, glad you guys had a good time. That was, that was, was awesome. awesome. I have survived. never seen him perform awesome. live. Yeah. And He's was great, isn't awesome. he? Yeah. It was fantastic. I would hire you for a bar mitzvah. Like <laughs> <laughs> I've only worked one bar mitzvah ever. It's because you live in Texas. And it was Rebecca Black's. No, you, I okay. Um, like up some scene. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. Did you do it in a Jewish accent though? For, like, forget <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> I've worked. I've worked three. I've worked uh, three strip clubs. Slip clubs. <laughs> Christmas party. In, in Christmas and I'll parties. Tell you what, man, and I'll and, tell, and you, tell you, there's nothing like a bar mitzvah. Hmm. Especially Some magic when it's in the history of fire eating. <laughs> 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 no, there was a, <laughs> a gold farm. And <laughs> eh, you know. Um, no, no, no. Okay, so uh, I got hired to work a strip club's Christmas party. This is like the first couple years I was doing it. Um, and it turned out to be at the exact strip club that only like two years before I had had my bachelor party. Oh, so and you it, all knew all the girls. Uh, well, I knew the place, but, but then it was like it was very different with the fluorescent lights on. And Ooh, their yeah. children oh, black spinning around yeah. and playing on the Not as stripper good. pole. Take some of the sexy. It was sexy a little, it was a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Did they, did they, uh, did they pay you in singles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Family here's affair. A, here's a stack of soggy $1 <laughs> bills. Oh, no. 
no. Oh, no. <laughs> Just run Such those. Run those. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh, shots fired. Ah. All right, okay, so, so, okay, so Austin, Texas, Padre, 10 Padre, years Padre. ago. Yo. Given that many people uh, like uh, to have their calling after a, li after a secular lifestyle, are there, and of course we're not naming names or even telling stories, I just want to know that it exists, some legendary stories of, of priests like you... I think Augustine said it best. <laughs> like, 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 you guys have to swap stories of what used to be, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The good, oh, the good yeah, ones? It was the time. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll never forget it. I got in the, I got in the, I, I got in the holy wine. <laughs> oh, but didn't Augustine said, make me, uh, what do you say? Make me holy, make but me not holy, yet. But not just yet. Not yet. No, uh, there, I do remember I lived, it wasn't a Jesuit. It was, it was a lift, mixed housing. So it was Jesuits and Franciscans. And I swear to God, oh, Franciscans. one They're of the guys the living worst. in the Franciscan, I swear, he must have been in the witness protection program. Really? Because I'm like, you know, like there's no way this guy believes yeah, it. Yeah, no, no. That's no. a good place. It's, it's like, like Lilyhammer in place. the Franciscan. That's a great place. It's full it sister act. <laughs> yeah. Dang. You know, we got a call from Lilyhammer at this today. <laughs> Did you? From the, I said where Steve Van Zant was hiding out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was did, did you watch family? all of the first season? Um, no. I watched up until they killed the one dude, and I was like, well, this isn't fun anymore. Yeah, it was exactly. cute. It was cute before. It's cute. And then I just and gave it up. And it got serious. Yeah. It's like, oh, yo, this is going to be the Sopranos in yeah. Norway. Yeah. I, I, like, I, don't I, don't that. That. I, I liked no. it when it was silly. Yeah. And awkward. I, I'm with you no, okay, 100% right. on that. I thought it was Didn't ever finish it. Really? Yeah. I didn't do a little, but I'm, I'm into betas right now on Amazon Prime. Is it good? It's okay. Okay, seriously, yeah, yeah. we have a problem now. Really? Like the best review I've heard for betas is it's fine. It's it's a geek thing. It's it's like a geek living in you San love Francisco it? thing. No, it's so I, startup I, like, culture. Like like not one person has said it's good. Literally, not one review. The reviews have been like it might just like, be a bad hey. show. It could it could be a bad show, but I enjoy it. Eh, like I, right. I mean, I enjoyed. You know what it tells Netflix. you though is this method of letting people so called vote for mm. programming is not a good method. I don't know that the, it's inherently it's bad. It's also that comedy's hard, right? And and wow. and like, for every the only prolific uh, comedy one person creators in the chat room who likes it are like three camera, Thanks, super like you know yeah. rote kind of comedy. Like good oh, edgy comedy is I'm very sure. very hard to do and very very hard to. Can I, I? You know what? Here, since we're getting to the end here, real quick, I don't know that I've ever heard from you, Leo. Are there podcasts that you listen to outside of the network that you secretly like? Are your special presents? Ah, okay. Y'all answer that question, and then we have something extra special for you. Awesome. Um, what was the question? Do I listen, Do listen to podcasts? podcasts? Yeah, well, and, and, is there one own. that's like... And, yeah, and, and you, know, I'll go first. You, know, you, you should listen. Uh, okay, go. Uh, but you probably already know about it. John Oliver's uh, podcast that he does. No. Oh, this no. is a must listen. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's called uh, The Daily Bugle. Okay. Oh, if you don't if you don't listen to The Daily Bugle, you, you'll love it. John Oliver's the guy that was subbing at The Daily Show? Yeah. Okay. Now British comic, HBO very show. funny. Okay. Yeah. Very. F What's his new HBO show? It's uh, I'm coming. He just left the oh, Daily yeah. Show to do it. Ah, is it a fiction or is it a like? It, I believe it's going to be new satire. Ah, so that's what he does. He does it with another uh, fellow. I think it's from the Telegraph or the Guardian, one of the newspapers there. Uh, and I haven't heard it in a while, so I'm not sure if it's still on. They keep talking about canceling it. Yeah, but thebuglepodcast.com. Hysterical. Uh, okay, Hysterical. people in the chat are reminding me of one of my favorites is Dan Carlin, both his Hardcore History and Common Sense podcasts. But lately, man, oh man, uh, Brant Hughes, uh, a.k.a. Gatorwag in the chat, got me into the Harmontown podcast. Now, I'm a guy who no, has never watched a Community. complete episode of Community, but am utterly entranced by listening to... Uh, uh, so it's them talking about community? Uh, no, no, no. It's the guy who created community oh. talking about. And it was. It was really. It really took up steam once it got fired. From right. Oh. And it, it became his therapy, talking I'd love like to hear very that. frankly about Hollywood. Oh, he was. And, he was the and, showrunner. Yes. Made a great show. Yes. And got fired. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And oh, I would love to and hear that. And then got hired again, which is like the rarest. He got brought of all back. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, in, Rick and Morty on the Adult yeah. Swim. Yeah, I've seen and, that. Uh, and, and lately, one of the threads that started up at some point is they would spend the last 30 minutes playing Dungeons & Dragons uh, in hugely entertaining style. It's been amazing. Uh, yeah. You've been wanting to do a D&D &D thing for a while. You know, after doing D&D &D this morning, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's really, it really isn't that compelling, I'll be honest with you. What about, what about you, Justin? I listen. Right. 
Storytelling would be a bit more interesting. We were we were hoping to do D and D here actually to, mm -hmm. uh, during this, but uh, I guess we didn't get that together. What about the other thing I'm disappointed we didn't get together. There was a, a barber in it in the town, mm -hmm. a barbiturate, a barber in the town who was going to come and shave me. He was going to uh, do the do the straight razor shave oh. during the show, like just your face though. Well, <laughs> I actually hadn't thought about come and get more. a petalubin. Get my crack back and uh, oh. crack. Oh, crack back, crack back. Gonna and, get shaved crack, crack tonight. Impaired Oh man, you want you want to go ahead and throw that out there? <laughs> no. <laughs> save, no. It, save it, save it, save <laughs> it. If oh, you okay. buy more bobbleheads, I can get more shaved. All right. So go to uh, teespring.com/twit right now. T W E Spring. What about you? Uh, wow, I can't talk Whoa. words. Mm. What, what, what about a, a bottle of talking? Uh, Why don't we? Uh, I got an idea. For the next 30 minutes, let's just about take they do. Except him. Uh, a bottle it. A bottle it. Do, 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 and people do tuning in will do, think do, do, do. that they've had a stroke. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be great. Look at that. They're giving out my toll-free number in the chat. <laughs> and tell That's right. That call. actually does get to his phone. Yeah. So if you're going to call it, be ready. Drunk dial uh, Brian right now. Just don't hang up, man. Uh, what about you, Father Rob? Faber Robber? Faber. Robert. <laughs> Robert. I, I only watch uh, Twit TV. Yeah. Wait, is that for reals? <laughs> you don't have like Pontiff Talk with the Pontiff Pontiff Talk. You like Father Robert. You gotta get on uh, some dark I, I get that, like I get that in the rec room. I don't need it from a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I, I get voice. that from the man himself. <laughs> Just on and on. Oh, great, Pontiff. <laughs> Yeah. We have made so uh, Jeff uh, wait, needles, wait. as you know, built. Wait a minute, are you? Are well, you okay, so, so here's the thing: when people call, I, no, I don't know who it is, <laughs> but did. but the yeah, problem look, is. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh they hung up. Oh, chickens. chickens. Leave a message so we you can lose. play it on the show. You lose. The pro the problem was like people would call just to see if it was a real number and it used and to then, forward to my phone and it scares them because so you now them. I set up a special an a special option which says if you're calling to just to see if this really is Brian's phone <laughs> it is press three and then it says connecting you now to and it says Brian Brushwood's personal cell phone what's he doing is he out mowing the lawn is he on a jog is he <laughs> disciplining the kid cute. get ready it's gonna be awkward and then I answer the phone I say hello this is Brian and so it goes. Brian Brushwood? <laughs> like, they're genuinely surprised after all that. And then they're like, yeah. And then they go, boop, boop, boop. No, that, that happens like, no. to me all the time. And so, it happens to me all the time. So then what I did was I bought uh, I bought the burner app so I could just text them back nasty, like, you just failed scam school, jerk. Oh, boy. All right, hold on. We got this on speaker. So, uh, Will, Jeff, I, I do want to play this. Personal cell phone. Are you ready? What's he doing? Is he out on a run? Maybe. Maybe he's mowing the lawn. Maybe he's Remember in the middle of trying to discipline his children. Thing? This is it. You don't get to be there for it. It'll be awkward. Be ready for the awkward. Yo, what's up? Hey. Uh, so, I figured since I saw you grab your phone from uh, behind the stage like 10, 15 minutes ago, that uh, you might answer. <laughs> so, I figured I'd call. You didn't, so I left you a creepy Happy New Year message, and then I'm the one that started throwing the camera because I thought that would be kind of funny, and you'd enjoy it. Boy, quit playing! <laughs> <laughs> We're done. That's good. And that's how you play. And scene. So uh, we have a um, slow mo. Time, time, time lapse. Time lapse. <laughs> fast, fast mo. It's a slow mo I, by slow mo. I, I ordered. A, you didn't misunderstand me. I wanted a slow mo of the. Of the <laughs> Of the uh, is the next week's worth of programming. Come <laughs> on, exactly. You don't know how to fill. You do not know how to fill, my friend. All right, here it is. Jeff Needles building the Tower Bridge. Enjoy. All right. Boy, that's it's a slow mo. That is pretty slow mo. Whoa! <laughs> now they cut out all the parts where you walked away. Oh, good. <laughs> This is actually a way you could watch all 24 hours because if you watch the stream yeah. Oh, we couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's mounting to the sky. Is this London calling? I like it for the clash. 
Whoa, they got some people in there. Oh, look at that. There's a Chad flash real quick. It's all about Android. Here comes the NSFW. Wait, wait, wait. You can see the shows. Oh, there's a so he disappeared. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow. Forget it, brother. You can go in alone. Oh, a lot of you not doing crap there, Needles. Look at that. That is a beauty. Oh. oh. Boom. Oh. It's kind of an anticlimactic oh. ending there. When will there. we ever know? Oh. <laughs> He, they really want you to blow it up. Man. I could see that. I could see that. That's good. Nice. Yeah, very hey, nice. Thank you, Jammer B. Oh. To very Jeff Legaman nice. and his fabulous Legos. Legaman. Legum. Legolas. To Legolas. The Jewish Legolas. So, all right, I want your guys' advice because uh, we have, in 23 minutes, our last caller. Oh. Mm hmm. But we did say we would do 24 hours. Yes, it is. Uh, the problem is we don't have a caller for the last uh, hour, Samoa, American Samoa. So should we just, after the last caller? I think I've got a vote from Lisa. Yeah, uh, yeah you want to know what? Uh, I don't think anybody's going to question your stamina or dedication well, that's the, to the and, and Chad seemed a little, uh, his, his lower lip trembled a little bit. He said, we did say we would okay. do 24 hours. You know what? What? We're done after three. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can email me and bitch about it later. We can go home. Mm. We can sleep yeah, and you on can air. Home, That's the boss saying, <laughs> suck it if you got a problem. Chad's already sleeping. We could just put the cameras on him. Is he sleeping? Yeah. Did he go back he's and right sleep? Sleeping, though. He's curled up like an adorable little kitten. Is that Chad? Aww, that's cute. Goodbye, That's cute. Jeffrey Needles. Well, I don't know why he's... Get a bowl of warm Thank you, water. Jeff Needles. Have a great night. Thank you for coming out and doing that. And Jeff Legerman, everybody. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Legerman. <laughs> Give him a big fat round of applause. Yeah. Put uh, in some tights. Uh, UTC is 12. Uh, is no, uninhabited. shut it down. UTC After 12 this. is uninhabited. Minus 12 is uninhabited. Yeah. That's I find that hard to believe. Why would you have a time zone with nobody in it? Fish. <laughs> Mer I merfolk. I mean, you ever, you ever think about why the make people? a time yeah. zone if there I mean, is nobody in it? Atlantis. Yeah, dude. What do you to hate be fair. Atlantis? Yeah, what is? Well, we had to be here. I I think it's fair to go home in uh, twenty minutes. I, I don't. So. I don't. I think I don't think that. it's ever fair to go home. I think we belong here for all eternity. <laughs> and this is this is our own personal I purgatory. I think like I think ball. the four of us were on our way to Vegas when we died in a car wreck <laughs> twenty years ago. This is hell. And this uh, moment we're in hell is right now. This, this, this we've is been. right here. That's I think, I think obviously. That's how we uh, end. You ever read I'm, No I'm, Exit? You ever you ever read yeah. some Sartre? Yeah, a little Sartre. Hell is Padre oh my God. Jay. You know, John, John, right. John, man. That's right. Paul Sartre. A little that's, scamp. That's what used to call me oh. back in high school. Yeah. Oh, a little hell, tramp. Padre. Man, scam. that's that's its own like top ten list on BuzzFeed. <laughs> 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 uh, hobo alert. <laughs> no hobo. No hobo. Oh, who wants a no hobo shirt? Yeah, we're just I brought like a away. ton of them. It's fine. All right, what, well, what, is, so what is no hobo mean? Uh, 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 all right, so we here's the thing. Uh, let's say you're doing something uh, that would be hobo in nature. Yeah. Like uh, asking for money. Yeah. Or uh, stealing a ride on a train. Yeah. Uh, Technically, a hobo act. Yeah, a hobo kind of act, right? But uh, you want to make it clear that you are, in fact, not one of the colorful American characters for which uh, are adorably homeless and have their own code. Mm -hmm. uh, you can wear this shirt mm -hmm. that says "No Hobo," just so people know. So people know what's I'm not going a hobo. On. No hobo. Why, I mean, not, yeah. why, not, why would you say no hobo instead of not a hobo? Uh, no, no, that's just not. That's not. Uh, not I mean, like, because that's not the bit. You don't want to be mistaken for a hobo. It's like you want to. I understand. Anyway. I understand. Like, I mean, I'll let you to shoe no hobo, but it's, yeah, you'll eat a but, shoe. Well, if there ain't nothing else. I mean, if there's going to be chili in it. <laughs> I mean, I was hanging out. Who doesn't I'll like chili? I was, I was jogging. <laughs> Wait, are we I was chili? jogging down the tracks of Petaluma. I mean, no hobo, but. Yeah. What size yeah. you want? What the hell sizes are these? 47? Uh, it's European. It's by age. C3. <laughs> the word. Here's an extra what large. Sizes, that's what I want. Big. Extra large? Yeah, you got an XL? I got bigger than extra large, I think. You got two XL. All right. All right. Here's a. Here's a Let uh, me try an XL. Try an XL. Here you go, boy. No, oh, I want to be no hobo. Because I, I do uh, uh, hitch a ride on a train from time to time. I mean, no Someone's hobo. Saying, I don't mind. Hey, you got to get to, yeah, you gotta get to Sioux City somehow. Somehow. 
So grab one, man. Yeah. You got hands. Wait, wait, you just we just looping what around. Do you think I am. <laughs> He's like, he's like, store? He, yeah. walk, he walks up and he's like, exactly. hey man, I want a free shirt. No hobo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a 3XL. <laughs> Can we get one for Burke? Is it medium? Yes. All right, we got mediums. You got a quarter? You got a gum? You got a dime? Uh, so someone said, will, will Justin finally reveal what ethnicity he is? I would say guess, and guess in stereotypes. Well, I think Young is an Arabic name, isn't it's it? It's actually, it's, Bert, it's, it's, it really Syria. is like the skeleton key Bert. of all I'm last names. I'm saying you're Syrian. Because it's like, it's, a, it's an African-American name, it's a Korean name. You have the eyes name. of Omar Sharif, king of the desert. Mm. Uh, the beard uh -huh. of a uh, uh, Iraqi dissident. Okay. Uh, the fair, fine, curly uh, hair. Of um, somebody who expects twenty-seven virgins in heaven. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Well, no yeah. hobo. Yeah. No hobo. <laughs> no hobo. It's about, no, yeah. No. So no, you know no, when look, I'm picking I mean, food up look, off the ground and yeah, you know, no, 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 no hobo. We have a no hobo song. Yeah, no. brown people rich. <laughs> <laughs> brown people rich you do have brown eric estrada here brown i'm gonna guess oh uh, i'm gonna guess uh he's got eric estrada's eyes i try yeah i, try. I work hard on it yeah i, I mean work he has out. them in a jar i'm gonna guess uh you're probably a latin a little latin so I, i'm syrian and latin so far so far Any syrian guesses? and latin oh. with a little, a little poodle a little, uh, little poodle <laughs> You got some poodle thrown in. <laughs> poodle. He's got a labradoodle. Uh, truth right. is, I I'm really people enjoy rich. people not knowing because then I can make ethnic jokes and people just and assume you say I'm, I'm one of them. Ethnicity. Yeah. Yeah. Three? I'm going to save him for the guest, man. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? How are we going to cut this up? Have we decided what we're going to do with this? Uh, you are going to select at random. Uh, in intervals of three seconds, one second, four second, and so on, uh, following pi, and show one second at a time of the entire thing. I know there's a way to do that 20. algorithmically. I That's could just I'm put saying. it on a v VHS you should tape. Actually, here's here's what you do. You, get, a, you get an intern, would be about right? Programming and they record it <laughs> off a screen and put it on Vine six seconds at a time. Six seconds at a time. And, and the here's entire thing hour over number the three. Oh, my God, just the nonstop Vines. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, we're so gonna there's going to be, be moments of like me showing Chester Pro XPN just over and over and Rabbit Badger, just nothing but leading. We're going to put it's it all on Vine. Vine. I think it's, it's great. great. It's a great Glenn, Vine. why don't you go ahead and do that? Put that all, it all on that Vine. Revine. Vine. Re -vine. Re -vine. Just think of the revines we get. Dude, mad revines, yo. Mad revine. But I'm no hobo. No, no hobo. hobo. No Ooh. hobo. You know, right, I mean, look, Ooh. if that's what you're into, Ooh. whatever. My, my granddad rode the Silver Rails, whatever. Yeah, I got a bindle. No hobo. <laughs> Is it a bindle or a bindle stiff? I don't know. What are you, the cops? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta tell us if you're a cop. You wearing a wire? <laughs> uh, Jeff Jarvis Island? What? That's actually a funny phrase. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's like two in the morning, but like Jeff Jarvis Island sounds very funny. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think he what do you think he cooks up Welcome. on Jeff, jo <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Jarvis Island? Oh no, that's where we're going. American Samoa, Jarvis Island, Hold on. Midway Can, play, Atoll. Play the uh, Melodica. And we're going back to New Zealand. <laughs> Wait, what? Leo, have you ever seen the Melodica Jurassic Park clip? <laughs> no, let's see it. I'd like to see it. Can we pull <laughs> oh, that up? Yeah. Uh, Patrick knows what I'm talking about. This is the most amazing thing, and, and this is the right moment at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> this is 3 a.m. This is, you're gonna find this. The, I, three? Whatever. Yeah, maybe. Cool. It's, almost to, it's almost. It's uh, almost three. It is. It's almost three. Wait Kat, a minute. Kat, I, Kat, did you I missed it. I was gonna shirt? sing. It's a quarter to three. Wow, There's no one in the place. The fact that Padre except you and me. <laughs> so set them up, Joe. I got a little story. I it is truly, this know. is like without doubt. Now, keep in mind, um, you know, Jurassic Park has maybe one of the most majestic moments in all of cinema. Yeah. And I really feel like which, out of Which was that? Which moment? Uh, uh, the, when you know, when, the, the when, moment when Dr. Gray reveal. Finally yeah. realizes. And then Dr. Yeah, goes like this. Yeah. Uh, the gates right. open and they're They do travel in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. 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 I love, I love Triceratops food. <laughs> no hobo. Yeah, let me get it all up into it. 
I love licking it. Uh, <laughs> is that a part of the movie? It's a great moment. <laughs> a majestic Let's part. A, what's that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the most majestic moment. To Jurassic Park. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Here, wish. <laughs> Who thinks stuff like that? Uh? This is so great. <laughs> You're right, it's probably better at three in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) I think we that's it. (laughs) Drew traveled in her. And and that's how we end. (laughs) With the harmonica. <laughs> it gets consistently crappier as he goes along. That's good. That's good eating. Oh, that's a good. That's a tasty meatball. Which size? Two X. I have a three X. <laughs> mm. So we got it. So what is this? This is a uh, Samoa or American Samoa? Yeah, that's right. USA American Samoa. <laughs> Because you don't right. mess with American, American Samoan. Where at least I don't know. Slightly I, more free. I might know one who plays some of the plays in the NFL. <laughs> and I will forget. See, I go the other. Day. Look out, Moon. America Samoa is gonna get you. Gonna go. Kaboom. Was not. Uh, who, who are we I, talking I to? Uh, uh, in 11 minutes and 53 seconds. Who are we talking to? And where are they? Do we have someone, Patrick? We do. We have our last call. Mm-hmm. Yes, I More believe they're in New Zealand. Yeah. Like, bring up the dock. In 11 minutes, New Zealand X, starts January like 2nd. Me, and we're American just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Morgan mm-hmm. French We're going to say, gonna welcome to the second day of 2014. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Happy second day of New Year. Another 24 year. hours of twins. We're going to just keep Yay! going. Let's do it all over again. What do you say? Apparently, apparently it's we're gonna do it right this time, Leo. Let's Come do it on. right. I I agree. We'll be That's passed small. out on there the floor. There were some errors no, in the no, in the no. show, and I'm a little disheartened by Is that. It I Alofa. I don't even know if that's pronounced correctly. This time will not overserve Will Harris. Where? Well, say it again. <laughs> Nuku Alofa. Nuku Loka. Uh, Did he fall he down should. and die somewhere? I mean, uh, I don't want to that real He is very drunk. We have him, uh, we taped him singing pop songs. His crime wasn't being drunk, his crime was being loud. Mm, and for I that, his crime he was being British. British. <laughs> okay. Dr- loud and. You could be one and the other, but both Venn diagram equals. Yeah. He got too British for his own good. <laughs> That's my theory. <laughs> Shaken and stirred. I'll tell you when they didn't hold their alcohol. Revolutionary War. Yeah, that's right. They, it. they didn't hold our alcohol for very long because we no. took it from. We threw right, it right in Boston no taxes. Harbor. That's right. I don't that see one. any uh, uh, British tax on this. Yeah, exactly. yeah the Boston booze party. Is it illegal to run this? How about this loss? WW. Is it illegal to run a still? <laughs> no, in no. In fact, we have a distillery uh, over here, Tempest Fugit. They make their own. Uh, so, if we wanted to do know, know how on how to distill your own beer. No, be, well, you don't distill beer. Oh, wait, that's right. That's right. So it would be moonshine. A, would be still a bad know how. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're within 10 minutes. Closing of going in. home. Nine minutes and 34 seconds. This is much like purgatory. You know what? I feel like we should just open it up and start crying. Let's <laughs> call it a moment of, of honesty. Can yeah. we? Okay. Let's you go. first. Come on. Truth field. I, I I you. All right. right. Uh, Brian, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to think of, uh, man, I already shared an uncomfortable fact on NSFW once. Did you? It was too much. Like You went too far? Yeah. Um, Oh, I choked a man at a Beastie Boys concert. (laughs) Is that a euphemism for something? (laughs) I mean, my hand went around his throat and I choked him. Um, 
uh, at, the beast, at Beastie Boys. <laughs> Jack goes, Andy's dead. And that man um, was Adam Yao. <laughs> R.I.P. Too soon. Um, no, it was. Uh, it, they they had a policy where there's no c- crowd no surfing. No joking. <laughs> and I said, my hands live for but one pleasure. Come on here, intergalactic planetary, planetary, intergalactic. <laughs> Let the schwood no. drop, <laughs> and you're like, you're choking with like your hands. <laughs> Don't you tell me to stop. You stick around and make it work, your mom. I keep choking you. All right, no, um, they had a no crowd surfing policy, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, and we were in the floor, and we were like, you know how it is, like in the pit, you're just kind of like pushing close or whatever. And two guys decided I was pushing too close or whatever, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Let's let's throw this dude up, and then he'll get thrown out for crowd surfing, right?" Uh, so these guys each reached down and grabbed like a leg in my back, and I realized what's about to happen. I looked at Bonnie, and there was a, it was like whoosh, two, two throats. Wow! <laughs> like, wow! And there was this moment of like wow. uh, stalemate, sucker. <laughs> yeah. Wow! It was like you wow. can lift me, but I got your throats. And then it just sat there for a bit, and then they sort of dropped me down, and that was a moment that happened. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. Uh, I, mean, I feel, I feel like I feel yeah. like Padre, who have you choked? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't choked this anyone weekend, but choking. um <laughs> Twick. I uh, I was touched by a priest uh I mean yesterday in this elevator. Like that. Oh, okay, you started brushed up against this weekend poking. Yeah. That's another yeah. show. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, see my brother's been touched by over the Christmas break, by the way. <laughs> And this is why we can't have Padre on. And this, yeah, this is it. Sword uh, battles. Confession with the guys Padre. We could do a We had a sword like battle earlier. Were you yeah. here for the lightsaber battle? We had Jedi's up in here. Jed- you battled me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did I slay you? No. Oh. <laughs> I got stabbed by Patrick Delahanty. Well, you did, but he just came back more powerful than you That's could right. possibly imagine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it was fun. Uh uh, oh, by the way, yeah, I took vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, but I only have to follow one at any given time. Ah, uh, that's that's, that's a little. That's what we like to call a loophole. Loophole. <laughs> that's loophole. God's loophole. <laughs> mm-hmm. Check your contracts, homeboy. It's like always having one Scoot hand up. on the safe tree, you know. <laughs> God, <laughs> you done go- good. You done goofed. Mm-hmm. Keep the change, That's right. <laughs> Oh, oh man, can we play the Larry King? Solaris is uh, Twitch oh. twenty four hours. Twitch is twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah, this, tw- this is it. This is no. This I feel is like we should, you get we should play the funniest hours. clip on the internet, and that is uh, the best James Brown interview. <laughs> oh my God, you've seen the James Brown interview, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I've interviewed James Brown. Oh, Living in America. I have interviewed James Brown. It was a very <laughs> strange <laughs> interview. Yeah, no, it's he did a lot Brown. of that. Huh? Good God, good God. Now, guest, you're not really from Hawaii, are you? Oh no! Uh, th- this is Joey. I'm in American Samoa. I'm, I'm actually from Mississippi. Well, what what brings you to American Samoa, where the world ends? Okay. Oh, uh, you know, g- gotta go do something. Whenever. I swear to God, this guy talking, lives in Mississippi you know, and he's doing us the service of pretending like he's in Thank Samoa. Thank you, sir. You you are it's a really wonderful man. Uh, so wait, where, where where were you from in Mississippi? And uh, how boring was it? <laughs> You're like, this is terrible. Let's go to somewhere else. <laughs> Well, you you can only eat so many pickled pig's feet before you got to come to Samoa and eat the pig snout. Oh, oh you're right, eating the other end of the pig now. Tell, yeah. give us an answer that only an but American no Samoan would would know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How how can we prove? Are, are ah, tell tell well, a really local joke. Yeah, yeah. Like something that yeah. nobody will laugh at. We'll all just look at you weird. What do, what do you guys well, call each other locally? Amsos. Uh, no. Uso. Uso, that's your brother. Uso, 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 yeah. Uso. Uso, that's the base, Liar. right? Yeah. Thought a lot. What's, the, what's, what's the name? Yeah, what's the name of the shadow Muad moon that Deeb. looks like a <laughs> mouse? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, wow, the, man, the, the biggest thing that that's I can tell you that you need you. <laughs> is some corned beef. A can of corned beef, and you're ready to go in Samoa. Ah, you know, I, I think wait, this wait, guy. Wait, wait, wait. Corned beef and not spam. Spam is Hawaiian. Spam is Hawaii. Yeah. Corned beef. Well, tell you what, man, that's one thing the Hawaiians got right. Spam is Damn beautiful, right. man. Enough with them. Spam is What's your Let's... name, sir? 
My name's Joey Cummings. Okay, Joey, do you have an iPhone, sir? Yeah. All right, I want you to ask Siri for the nearest Chinese food restaurant. Oh! oh. <laughs> Man. They're all over the place. This is a stroke and, of I brilliance. love Chinese oh. food. The ironic thing is they're all run by Koreans. Yeah, but I want to hear the address. Wow. Don't you know racist. what? Your racism is proof enough, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true <laughs> am so. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh so, all right. Are you working in a radio station? No, no. I'm, I'm at... Uh, Taking care of a project at the home studio here, Man Cave Studios. Awesome. In effect. But do you, because Kirk Harnack set us you up, uh, a swap with you. Yeah, set a swap in. So, <laughs> you, you and Skeev Dibbins and Faber Robert. Doodle do. <laughs> so how do you know Kirk? Uh, Kirk's uh, one of the bosses. He actually owns part of the station here. So you do work you do work in radio in yeah. American Samoa. You ever seen him weep openly? <laughs> Just ask. Yes, him. but his hair still didn't move. It did not move. That's <laughs> he proved it. He is an American Samoa. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna uh, celebrate. You know, you are, uh, as I understand it, American Samoa is the last place on Earth to enter the new year. That matters. Indeed. It is uh, something, to be, something to be mighty proud of. So just know yes, that the, when uh, you're done talking, uh, the world will be over. Yeah. <laughs> so long. No, but the Great 2013 job. is hanging on by a silver, little thin silver thread in American Samoa. Yeah. It, it, you know, weren't you going to dress up as a baby New I, Year? I was, I was, but you were supposed to wear diapers. I am wearing diapers. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. He's been on 24 hours. I'm wearing astronaut diapers, oh. baby. Oh, God. What's your name, oh. sir? <laughs> Joe Cummings. Both. Who can see? You're on the line. <laughs> Boise, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Uh, Call it, turn down your radio. So where are you? <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> Is corned beef hash a thing? You know, hey. once I had corned beef hash. <laughs> Boise mm, hash. <laughs> All right, we're, we got a minute, 45 seconds. Uh, uh, 2013, any last words? Yes. This is the she most beautiful moment. Cruel, cruel mistress. I say good riddance, but you know what? I wouldn't change a, a thing if I could because you know what? I sure have learned how to dance in the rain during all these storms. No regrets, my friend. No regrets. I'll tell you what. That's a that's a bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I for I'm one see that driving around a Jeep in American Samoa and be like, that's an AMSO <laughs> if I ever did see one. That is awesome. Yeah. AMSO. Yeah. You're your uh, your karma ran over my dogma. That kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna you're gonna help us count down, and once once we uh, do, uh, I think we're gonna wrap this uh, puppy. We're just gonna mm. turn everything off. We're, we're gonna, gonna turn off the lights. Puppy. Puppy. We're gonna happy. head for home. I want to thank happy. everybody who my made this possible, but I want to thank my homies here for hanging out a little longer, a little extra longer. J R Y of the Diamond Club fame, Mr. Brian Brushwood, Father Robert Ballasier. I want to thank Patrick Delahanty, who is the last man standing on the board. Our last man standing with a camera, Mr. Anthony Weiner Nielsen. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I give you 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey! Everybody, that was a yeah. wonderful 23 yeah. hours of 2014. Yeah. Thank you, Glenn yeah. Livingston. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa Ketzel, yeah. Steve Gibson, John yeah. Slamina, yeah. Chad Johnson. Yeah. Thank you yeah. to all our great producers, yeah. Carson yeah. Bondi. Yeah. Most of all, thanks yeah. to you, the Twit community. We would not be here without you. We do it for you. Yeah. Have a great 2014. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you.
entropy will take us all and we will slowly Pop them. Pop them. They're going away. Pop. Pop. Oh, those popcorns. Pop. 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 Those popcorns. <laughs> Next year, we're going to start the pre show now. Oh, my God. Yeah, Lisa, can we pre tape 2014 or 2015? Oh my Just rerun. God. Can we pre tape next year's 24 hour like year celebration? I can't believe it's 2015. <laughs> wow. Leo, this is. Breaking ground. I'm exhausted. Oh, it, that's an iPad. Leo, it's an amazing thing. Grab that was different. Nice. Well, done. well done. Well done. Thank you, bro. See you later. You got a boss. No hobo. No hobo. No hobo. No hobo. No hobo. Is there a dyno? No, no, not not anymore? There's, no. a, uh, there's an IHOP. I mean, Alright. I think it's open. Right. No, IHOP's supposed to be open. It's one of the IHOPs. No hobo. Cells. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna say yes and act like I do, so that you'll stay here long enough for me to look at all these. Yeah. I, I, I definitely I, I, do. I, What's that medium? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Way to go. This is your local Jammer Fire. B saying. Right, thank you, you all like so very yeah. much oh, for attending. There. And now you can watch oh, well, this entire well, show. <laughs> but it's only gonna take ten minutes. What are you looking for? Um, no, you can have this other large. You can have the large on top. That's the only large you may have, sir.